Alright, um, today I'm going to show you my knife collection. I'm going to start from my least favorite to my most favorite. And which one you think you should be good? Let's start with this one right here. I got this one as a gift. Actually, my mom gave it to me. It's called Rec USR. It's, ba it's a stainless steel. Um, it, I like. I just like how the way it is with the little window smasher and the belt, seat belt cutter, but it's manual, not spring. It's a neck knife. A neck knife, as you can see. Um, when I went, I wonder. I don't carry this anymore because every time when I go running, this eventually falls out, and I have to go pick it up. It's really annoying. All right. The next one is this Smith and Wesson knife. I got this one off, one of my friends gave it to me. He broke the tip. I still need to work on this one. I was grinding the, a new tip back on. So yeah, the, so I took this blade many times apart. I just use it when um when I go on the woods, when it comes to like, dig a dandelion roots out, cause I make dandelion tea. Maybe I should make a video on that. The next one, this is an M-Tech knife. M-Tech is not, it's more like a cheap company. Um, I used to carry this. I have fun. I actually like this more of like self defense. It's a bear claw. Um, the only thing I just don't like is that it's just too hard to pull out of the sheath. The next one, no oh wait, the next one is my. This one is a Walmart knife. Just go to Walmart and you'll find this three dollar knife. It's actually good. You'll be quite surprised. I was actually surprised when I got it. I bought this the minute I saw it. Um, the next one is the Opino. The Opino eight. The old grandpa knife, if you want to call it. It's extremely sharp when you get it. It's carbon steel, which is good. It's a really thin blade. Like, if, when I first got it, it felt different for me for a knife. Because I'm used to, like, full tanks and folding knives. But this was different with the blend length. Other than that, everything's good. When you get one, it comes with this leather sheath. When I got it, I don't know if anyone gets theirs like that. Next. I have these two other neck knives. One is another M Tech, and the other one, it don't. S oh, it's another M Tech. Never mind. They're both M Techs. They're actually good if you just use them for small tasks. Not really, wouldn't really rely on M Tech because it's not really a good company knife. I bought these. The next one is my Kershaw. I don't carry this one because, in my state of law, it has to be at least less than an inch and a half when it comes to spring load. But yeah, I got this one. I traded one of my dirt knife for this knife, and it's good. And I have, I just like having it around, especially who doesn't like this can become addictive. The next one is the Ontario um, 511. I mean, Ontario. What did I say, Ontario 511? The Mora 511. Good knife. If you want to go fishing, hiking, woods, bushcrafting, and everything. It's it's good for it. Uh, mine is scuffed up for using it for skinning on it for skinning. When I go out there, I like to go with my huntings during the fall. My next one, two favorite ones is uh, Charade FCH F15 and the Charade FCH F14. I actually like this when I was like if they're my t uh, 15 no not 15 um 17 I saw them. I didn't really could have. I didn't really. I forgot about all of these many years, and then until I got my first job, then I bought them. I bought them both. I take care of them. I take them with me to when I go to like to my out in the woods. This one I actually managed to cut myself on the thumb really easily. I never. I, it's like bad enough you gotta get stitches, but I don't. I didn't really use stitches, so I just closed it up, healed it properly. My thumb is a little bit different. It doesn't bother me. Next is uh, the more these get the more the K bar mini. It's a good knife. The the handle it's rubber. It's like some good rubber. It, you eat, it's like grip. So like if you get your hand wet, it's not gonna slip. It, I like the size, even though I seen the full size of the other K bars. But I actually liked this one. Got this at Army Barracks for like sixty bucks. I probably could find it much cheaper. But never used it though, cause. It's more like, I like to have some knives to collect, some knives just to have them there, then have me take out. And then, my final knife is um, my favorite of all, as you can see, I got I bought a sheet for it. It's my BK2. I haven't used this knife yet, because um, 
I actually was hoping to get this sheath at the time because the original, the original sheath that this came with, I heard it dulls the blade, which I don't know if it was true or not, but I don't want to take a chance. So I got this sheath. So I'm going to make soon, later on in the future, I'm going to do some test videos probably with some of these knives and to show you how, if they're good cutters or not. And I can show you which one is worth or not. So yeah, this is all. So far, I have all my knives right here. This is all I have. I hope you like my video. I hope you like what you saw. Um, and like and please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more soon.